Welcome to the testing world. So in this session, we are going to create first test case in JMeter. So first we need to start JMeter. So in JMeter, when we started, we are going to find out these two default components. One is test plan and other is workbench. So what is test plan? So test plan can be defined as a test suite. So in manual testing, we have a test suite. Test suite can be defined as a collection of multiple test cases. So here we have a test plan which behave as a test suite. We can have multiple test cases inside it. In test plan, we can have multiple test cases in JMeter. Each test case is called thread group. So we can have multiple thread group in a test plan we can run them either in serial or parallel. So by default, it's going to execute all the test cases inside the test plan, or we can say all the thread group are going to be executed in parallel. But if you want to execute in serial order, then you can start this checkbox. So run thread group consecutively means run groups one at a time. So if we have 10 test cases and if we on this checkbox, so all the test cases will execute in serial order like 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we don't check it, then all the test cases will execute in parallel. We can set variables in the test plan, which behave as a global variable and can be used in any test case or any Any thread group inside this test plan. So here we can define variables. These variables will be global variable, can be used inside this test plan, can be used anywhere in this test plan. So we can define the variables like the name of the variable is web URL and the value I'm giving www.testingword.com. So we can define any number of variables over here. We have functional checkbox. So if we check it, then Jmeter will save the results which are coming from the server. But if we are saving the results which are coming from the server, so ultimately my process becomes slow and it's going to impact the performance result. So if you want to save whatever the results which are coming from the server, we can check it over here. But in practical session, we are not going to use this checkbox because ultimately, if it's going to save results which are coming from the server, it will impact the performance results. We are going to use this checkbox only when we are debugging our script. Now, moving to the next part. So, we can run test case consecutively or in parallel. We have already seen we can define the class path of the jar files which we are going to use in the JMeter. While working with the JMeter, if you want to use any jar file of Java, we can attach that jar file over here. We can directly use it. The next component that we have is Workbench. So moving to Workbench is used for temporary storage. You can hold the component which are not the part of my test plan. We are going to use this Workbench when we are performing recording in JMeter. So we have the option here. We can perform the recording over here. We are going to cover this in coming few sessions. So we have seen like by default, we are going to get test plan and workbench. Workbench is just for the temporary storage. So to start working, that is my test plan, which is quite similar to test suite. Inside the test suite, we can create test case. So here we call it thread group. So I'm going to create a thread group. It is my test case one. So how many number of users I want to apply on this test case? So I have set it five. Now inside the test case, we can have multiple steps. If we want to hit any server to hit the server, we are going to add a step, which is sampler. So sampler steps are used to send request to the server. And I'm going to use HTTP request sampler because we are going to hit a HTTP page. 
so that's my HTTP sampler and I'm passing like www.google.com here to view the result we have another step we can use listener as of now we are just using a very simple listener view result tree so my one test case is ready in which we have a HTTP sampler which is going to send request to the server and we have a listener the role of the listener is to display results and I have applied five users in this test case so I'm going to run it and once we run it so it asks for saving this test plan so I have saved it and execution is done so here we can see page is hit by five different users so that's a very simple test case that we have created in which we have a test case inside the test case we are using two steps one is sampler and one is listener to understand the thread group so my thread group is quite similar to the test case it can be defined as a similar to the test case which can have multiple elements or multiple steps we can set number of users which we want to apply on this test case and apart from it we can also set the count how many type this test case we want to run in loop so as of now we are going to run this loop just for one time only we can set any number of loop count over here we can set it forever as well so until unless we are not going to stop it it will execute continuously so this option is going to use in the stress testing when we are continuously hitting the server for a longer period of time here we have a setting of the ramp up ramp up means in how many seconds these five users will be applied to the server so i'm setting in one second all the users will send request to the server so if we set it five so total ramp up time is five and total users are five so ramp up divided by number of users so five divided by five which is one so in every one second one user is going to send a request to the server so all the users will send a request to the server in total five seconds i take in one more example like if we have ramp up time of 50 and my number of users are 10 so ramp up time divided by number of users so 50 divided by 10 which will be 5 so in every 5 second one user is going to send a request to the server so here we have seen what do you mean by the ramp up time and also we have a scheduler so we can set when we want to execute our test plan so so we can set time over here and on the particular time this will automatically trigger so we have seen how we can set the loop count we have seen ramp up time we already seen we can set scheduled for the execution so in this session we have created a basic test case in which we are just hitting a server with five users and we are displaying the results in view result tree listener thanks for watching this video